On this very date, five years ago, in the Garden of England, a legend was born. It was a momentous occasion. Pete Doherty sat down in a cafe in Margate to consume 8,000 calories in the name of... Uh, well, I don't know why he did it, actually. The point is, he ate a really big breakfast. They uploaded a photo to Instagram, and that went viral. So, on the fifth anniversary, welcome to Toby Terrence Mega Breakfast on Radio X. Yes. Look yes. how happy you are. Yes and yes. 8,000 calories. Wow. Look at me. I've never eaten 8,000 calories in my life. Oh, that picture, though, was everything, wasn't it, at the time? So Pete Doherty went to this cafe in Margate, and he ate this legendary breakfast. 8,000 calories. Do you want to hear the ingredients I've got oh, in front of me? Come on, then. Four eggs, four bacon, four sausage, a quarter pound beef burger, <laughs> hash browns, mushrooms, onion rings, bubble and squeak, beans or tomatoes, my choice. That's it. <laughs> Two slices of bread, and this is the bit that I think is just going to kill you. Come on. Just a portion of chips. <laughs> there you go. 8,000 calories. If you eat it all in one go, you go onto the wall of fame. Yeah. If you eat it in under 20 minutes, the breakfast is free. Otherwise, it's £24.50. Right. I've got a horrible feeling it is going to be the biggest anticlimax. When basically, <laughs> on Friday, you tune in to listen to a man to eat a couple of sausages and a hash brown and go, oh, <laughs> I am full. stuffed. <laughs> I can't move. 8,000 calories. That's insane, isn't it? <laughs> it was that, that photo, so there's a big silver platter that he's, that he's eating it on. Mm. I mean, it's just... It's huge. It's one of those, yeah, it's one of those trays you'd have sandwiches at a wedding that would do, like, 20 people. Yeah. Absolutely. You know yeah. what I mean? It's one of those, isn't it? Yeah. Silver platter thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty mad when you look at Pete Doherty's life that I think this is the most insane thing he's ever put <laughs> in his body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be speaking to a few people over the course of the week. The first person to speak to, it seems to make Spence to head to Mark, who is the owner of the cafe. Good morning, Mark. How are you, mate? Good morning, not bad, you? Yeah, I'm very well, actually, I'm, I'm not great. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I always say people uh, don't order it because it's not enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, what a salesman. <laughs> it, the food's great, but to eat a massive mega like that, it's just it's oh. just too much food, but good luck. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> ah. Was it was it your idea, this breakfast, or was it there when you took over? No, yeah, no. Um, years ago, I, I, when I had friends working the railways, they were talking about doing what they, they, they was called a gut gut buster mm. up the line and then i kind of come up with the idea that that was obviously someone talking about that cafe in particular so i'd come up with the mega because i thought then people were going to start talking about the mega right. and the cafe. Uh, but obviously i never expected it to blow up uh the way it did <laughs> i had a gut buster in brighton i think years ago it was ridiculous it wasn't anything like this it was perhaps four thousand calories or right like that. i got you i couldn't finish it so he did it in 19 and a half minutes, which, I mean, is, is that ridiculously good or is that more really common than you? Good. Really? Uh, he's, you know, he's the one that you, I always say, it's a tall, skinny one, so you never think you're going to do it. Because he's quite tall. He's, I think, six three, six four, And, uh, yeah, he just come in, like, so random. Uh, I mean, we had people accuse us of, like, like, it was fake and all the rest of it, but it's like, how do you even come up with a story like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Blimey. since Pete did it, uh, did people then flock to the calf to try and give it a go? Yeah, obviously we did a lot of megas in the next uh, couple of weeks. And months. Uh, we still haven't had a lady do it yet. We had two girls come in from, I think, Whitstable, and they did really well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, every time someone comes comes in, they always like, Jesus, that's bigger than I've <laughs> I mean, all four yeah. person table, basically. Takes up the whole table. Good. Oh, Toby. Okay. Toby, Toby, Toby. Well, I mean, the good news is tall and skinny. I'm 6'5 and very skinny. So, yeah. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll... Uh, my, my gut instinct, genuinely, yeah. is I haven't got a chance. I don't think I've, I've got a massive appetite. Right. I don't, but 
who knows? Plus the peer pressure mm. might come into it as well. We get a lot of people over like sweating out and obviously even in the middle of winter because it is like, again, you know, it's like the meat sweats or whatever. It's, it's a lot of food, isn't it? So. Oh, you're going to get the meat sweats. <laughs> this is excellent. Look how happy you are. Oh, this is lovely. Look how happy you are. Are you looking forward to it, Tobes? With, with, at all? <sighs> I'm looking forward to like the first few bites where I'm yeah. just eating a breakfast. I bet it's lovely. I, what do you reckon the hardest part is? For me, it's the, the portion of chips is an unnecessary addition. <laughs> of everything. So, you know, when you go into a chip shop, chips, you ask for a small chips and they just give you like a mound of chips that you just, no way one person could ever eat. Yeah. That's the chips you get on. <laughs> 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 Radio X.